Hey, what's up guys? This is Omada Wireless Bridge by TP-Link, EAP211 Bridge Kit. Now, lucky for us guys, TP-Link sent this one to us so that I can share it with you. What can you do with this wireless bridge? Let's go ahead and answer that big question. What is a wireless bridge and where do you use it? Wireless bridge is something you can use to connect two sites that are further away wirelessly, right? If you want to connect to a CCTV from uh, a kilometer away, you can use this one. Or if you want to send an internet connection to another site, like what I'm showing you with this image, then you can use this one as well. Now, there are certain configurations that they always often say point to point means one device going to other device and then point to multipoint, wherein you have one trans transmitter going to multiple scenarios like what I'm showing you on the screen. In this case, this is a point to point setup, but you can always upgrade this one to a multi-point setup. Quick technical specification here. This is five gigahertz. It can have up to maximum of 867 megabits per second for its speed in transferring those data. And it's rated IP65, which is weatherproof. It's an outdoor device. Okay. So two devices, guys. Now, the beauty of this one is it comes along pre-configured, not like other devices that I've seen before that you need to configure and connect two of these ones. This basically comes pre-configured and it looks really nice. We have like LED indicators here, LAN 1, LAN 2, LAN 3 and system. Those are light indicators we can check later on. And then you have settings here like main AP or client AP. So if you want to be the one to be transmitting, this would be main AP and then the other one would be client AP. You have three gigabit ports, okay? And this is supported by PoE. Then of course, we have the Umada power injector to power these ones. Gotta check this one out, one for each. Let's just do a quick setup later on, okay? So there you go. Another one for the other setup, okay? And then of course, this sent us also a pole. I believe this is a pole, right? There you go. So we can assemble it here and I'm going to show you how it really works, right? Very cool. This would be something like more accessories. Whoa. We have uh, this other one. Okay. It's time to set this one up. The other one should be main and then the other one should be like client. Yeah, the other one is already set client and then the other one is set as main AP. I just want to set up this one. We, we use the poles that came with this one. So basically you can mount this one on some poles you have there. Basically, I'll just go ahead and temporarily attach this Umada. This is the client AP. So let's just do it like this. And uh, just to show that uh, it comes with, uh, with all the, the things that you need, all right? Okay, so imagine that one. Then I'll put the other one here. All right, guys. Okay, once you have connected, of course, we always need power. That is where this uh, power injector comes in. One for each, okay? So, so I need to plug this one on a power, wherein the power is basically just like beside here. So let's plug that one. And then this power comes again for that guy. I'll plug it here. Okay, and of course, the power, okay, PoE. Uh, you need to check this one, the one that's marked with PoE, and then we plug it to somewhere at the back that says PoE. All right, imagine this, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then this other one will be like PoE. There. And then here. Okay. This will be the internet connection. Okay. And this is where it's going to come out, right? Okay, just imagine this one. If I want to have a connection uh, of internet, and this is one kilometer away, uh, the internet goes to my main site, 
and then it's going to be wirelessly connected here. It will be received by this uh, Umada. And take note, it has three ports. So the other one is for uh, the PoE, and then the other one is also, uh, the two will be for the LAN. Now for me to test this one, I can connect this one to my uh, laptop and then try to check if there is internet connection. The beauty of this one is they, can, they are connected, pre-configured, so you don't need to configure it. But if you want to do some advanced configuration, in the manual, you have a QR code that you can scan with your phone and configure this one. There you go. We have it here, guys. So you, you would need to install the Umada app. So if you scan it, it's installing. I can also get my laptop in. By, by this time, I should have an internet connection with my laptop if I connect this one. Okay, my laptop is here, guys. Now, uh, while this is turning on, there are a few things you can consider here. The signal strength is uh, three levels indicated by lights. So basically, this it has uh, the maximum connection rate here because they are just close enough. But of course, if you go further away, you might be experiencing one or two. Um, remember, there should be a line of sight. Okay, so that you will have the maximum uh, connectivity rate. Then I just want to make sure I'm just going to go ahead and disable my Wi-Fi and then connect this one and try to see. This should be like, you know, I disabled my Wi-Fi. Um, you can see it there. I disabled that one. I don't know if you can see this one. Just trust me, all right? Open a new tab because I'm working on that. Okay, and I'll just go ahead and speed test. Okay, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, basically, I'm using Starlink and I'm, I'm having 100 plus megabits per second from this point going to this point. Well, of course, if this is further away, you would have some slight degradation of your internet speed because it needs to travel from, from that part. But this is a very perfect solution for people who wants to like, you know, there is a CCTV there that I want to have connection with. There is a... Um, um, IOT device or you want to extend you want to extend your internet connection to your to your to another mountain this would be a very good solution for it so I have uh, basically I don't know if you can see this one 98 megabits per second but this is the internet speed this is not the speed of these ones okay um, what I'm basically showing you is the use case of this wireless bridge right that um, you can use this one to connect sites again this is only pre-configured for point-to-point, -point, but basically Omada supports multi-point also, so you can connect more devices here. So as you can see on the diagram, uh, multi-point means you have one AP and then you can connect to multiple sites. So anyway, the key takeaway that I can uh, say here, since there are a lot of products with wireless bridge and all these kinds of things, one of the things that I've seen here is that you don't need to configure this one, right? You don't need to spend time. If you don't know anything about networking, you know, you just go ahead and follow the diagram. You buy this one pre-configured, just switch on that this is actually a AP client and this is the main AP. You switch it at the bottom and then you don't need to go and log in here. Unless you want to do some advanced stuff, then you go to install the app, Umada app. And if you want to configure them manually, you can also uh, configure it via web base. I hope you like this product. And again, I want to thank uh, TP-Link for sending us. Send me more products so that we can talk about it and share with uh, a lot of people who wants to understand uh, the products that you have, the solutions you have for uh, our viewers. Thank you and see you next time.